And he heard people shouting over and over. You know, they, they couldn't find their way. So he kept hollering, head towards my voice. Head towards my voice. So these people followed his voice, six people, and they found their way out. And he saved these people because they heard his voice. Well, that's the same thing Jesus exclaimed. He said, head towards my voice. It was an invitation to each of us when we're in danger or when we're lost our way. Jesus described the true spiritual shepherd of the sheep as one who calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him. They know his voice. Are we listening? Are you listening to Jesus' voice? When we're in difficult circumstances, are we walking towards him instead of groping in the dark? Jesus is a good shepherd. Whatever our need for guidance or protection, he calls us to heed his voice and follow him. And uh, it got in the rest of the scriptures, I tell you the truth, anyone who sneaks over the wall of the sheepfold rather than going through the gate surely, surely, must surely be a thief or a robber. But the one who enters through the open gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them, and they follow him because he knows they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They'll run from him because they don't know his voice. Those who heard Jesus use this illustration didn't understand what he meant. He explained to them, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me were thieves and robbers, but the true sheep do not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come through me will be saved. Thieves, saved thieves, propose to steal and kill and destroy. The, my, the purpose, my purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. I am a good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrificed his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. So the wolf attacks and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he's working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. He goes on to say, I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as my father knows me, I know the father. So I sacrifice my life for the sheep. I have, I have other sheep too that are not in the sheepfold. I must bring them also. They listen to my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I sacri loves me because I sacrificed my life, so I may take it back again. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily for I have the authority to lay it down when I want to, and also take it up again. For this is what my Father has commanded. It reminds us how Jesus sacrificed his life for us, and he suffered. He went through his trials and tribulations. And he arose on that third day again to give us everlasting life, eternal life. So, we take the wafer. It represents Jesus' body that broke. And he suffered for us. We take the cup, the juice, which represents Jesus' blood, which he shed for us to give us eternal life. Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us with your son and on that awesome day when he rose the third day and gave us eternal life. Thank you for being with us, Lord, 24-7 being there in times of tribulations and trials. You also give us joy in this life. And thank you, Lord, for giving us Stephanie to join us as being a Christian in this our church family. And thank you, Lord, most of Lord, for the, the church family that I share my life with. And guide us, Lord, that we might bring light to other people in this world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
We're so happy that you were able to join us today, both in person and online. Please make sure that you um, reach out to Stephanie as a, a new member of our family and that you encourage her. Um, also, I hope that you were blessed by the message and that you have a great week. Would you please stand with us?